and uh, something I've known to do in other videos, that was my wife just uh, at our residence here in Socorro advising me that uh, the door was going to be locked at the house for a little while. I didn't bring a key with me. And that's another story for another day. You gotta be careful putting these things down. I just pinched my finger underneath this uh, mirror and uh, it hurt. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm not testing it. I'm just going to clean the swarf off because the swarf does, to some degree, impact on the grain. It helps to break down some of your grains, and that's really not what you're looking to do. Paper towels are an absolute must in an optic shop when you're making, when you're doing your rough grinding. You just can't have enough of them. Taking a look at where we are, looks like we're making some progress here. Put the paper towels down for now. Still some areas where I haven't really broken the glaze, but they're getting dramatically fewer and further between. So now let's just put some grip back down again. Less is more. Take it easy. Don't go wild. Wash down the mirror. Dick suggested 10 pounds. I wrote him back and asked what he thought about 25 pounds. I don't have internet access at my home here right now, so I wasn't able to get a response from him. However, Just a hair under, maybe, maybe 96, 97 cents a pound. But I just didn't feel like blowing the 25 bucks. However, we'll see how this goes, and maybe tomorrow I will. Now it's getting late here, and uh, unfortunately I'm here at the end of June, <coughs> right up the hill and next door to the Magdalene Ridge Authority is Langner Lab for Atmospheric Research. It's hopping this time of year, because what they do is they understand, they research thunderstorms. And this time of year, there's plenty of them. There has not been one clear night since I've been here. This is Sunday night. I got here very, very early Thursday morning, like about uh, 1 a.m. And I really haven't, aside from some flitting glimpses of the moon last night at the Albuquerque uh, Astronomical Society, I really haven't had any observing time whatsoever which is more than a little frustrating. But in any event, you make another telescope. Okay, and that's about it for this. It is wet. Let's just, once again, take this very heavy Mirror off again. Whoa.
Astronomical Society last night. I did, originally it was supposed to be the field east of Albuquerque at a park called Oak, uh, Oak Flats, Forest Service land. Very nice. I did meet a couple of very nice gentlemen, Bruce Levin and Kevin McCowan. I have an old RV6 Criterion uh, Dynamax RV6 telescope, 6 inch F, roughly 8 actually inch uh, focal length. And uh, I left it in this shop. This shop is not hermetically sealed, and a lot of dust gets in when the winds kick up. And uh, the telescope had been coated in dust inside and out. I took the optics out to uh, clean them, and I wanted to recollimate them. And I'm not too good at that yet, although I will be. Bruce was kind enough to give me some very major assistance in that area of collimation. And Kevin also. And there are a couple of very enjoyable guys I'm uh, talking about uh, telescope making and astronomy in general and talking about folks that we know we have in common. Very small world, here I am in Albuquerque, guy that lives in Brewster, New York, and uh, we all the same people. And this gets to stick again a little bit. Sometimes when it sticks, just a shot of water will help. The one thing you want to avoid is very frustrating.